Hi, this is uh, Pierce Paul again, corner wheat pathologist at The Ohio State University. Today we're continu continuing videos in our series on growth staging wheat plants. And today we'll talk about fixed growth stage 9. Last week we talked about fixed growth stage 7 and growth stage 8. When we try to determine fixed growth stage 7 and 8, you need to remove plants, remove lower leaves, look for nodes, and in the case of fixed growth stage 8, look for the emergence of the flag leaf. When you're talking about fixed growth stage 9 and beyond, you really don't need to remove plants, but it still helps to remove plants. So we're going to look at fixed growth stage 9 and 10 on plants that were removed from wheat fields. One plat plot that's at fixed growth stage 9 and the other plot at fixed growth stage 10. When you try to identify fixed growth stage 9, you start looking at the, the flag leaf, where the flag leaf is relative to the other leaves. In fixed growth stage 8, the flag leaf was only just emerging. In fixed growth stage 9, the flag leaf is fully emerged. Again, you want to pull multiple tillers from across the field and then look for the flag leaf. So here we've got a cluster of tillers pulled from a plot and we remove the primary tiller. And once you remove the primary tiller, again, you can go ahead and remove all the leaves that are below the, the, lowest, the lowest node or the lowermost node and then you count the number of leaves. One, two, three, four leaves. Typically, you'd have four leaves, four leaves above that low, the lowest node, and that fourth leaf is the flag leaf. If the fourth leaf is fully merged, then you are par past fixed growth stage eight. If it's fully merged, then you'll see the ligule of that leaf, it's visible. If the ligule is visible, then you're at fixed growth stage nine. So again, Remove the lower leaves. Here you've got your lowest node. You count one, two, three, four leaves. The fourth leaf is the flag leaf. It's fully emerged. The legule is visible. That's fixed growth stage nine. Like I said, you don't need to pull these plants to look at it. You can actually see this in the field fairly easily. But for this example, we pull tillers. The next growth stage we're gonna look at is fixed growth stage 10. And fixed growth stage 10 is just about um, beginning of the reproductive stage. So we're no longer concerned about the leaves and counting nodes. We're looking for the head, the presence of the head, where the head is relative to the leaf. So here we've got a cluster of tillers that several of these tillers are at fixed growth stage 10. What's fixed growth stage 10? Again, you look for the primary tiller and you count the number of leaves. One, two, three, four leaves. Here we've got the fourth leaf which is the flag leaf, it's fully merged, so you're past fixed growth stage nine. And then the head is swollen in the leaf sheet of that flag leaf. So if you look at this here, it's thicker than the rest of the stem. This is where the wheat head is. It's swollen in the leaf sheet. If it's swollen in the leaf sheet, then you are at fixed growth stage 10. So fixed growth stage 10, like I said, marks the beginning of the reproductive stage. From here on out, we're gonna look at different stage of emergence of this head from this leaf sheet and from here we're going to go from 10 to 10.1, 10.2. I'll talk about these growth stages in my next video. Fixed growth stage 10 is important because it, like I said it marks the beginning of reproductive stages and this is important from the standpoint of managing diseases such, like, such as head scab that can affect the heads and cause problems. That's it for today. Until next time.